what I love just showers. training, oh. working my tail off. And that's training. what I'm saying. You need to get back to the Iron Paradise, bro. Mm-hmm. I gotta get back into my Iron Paradise. You know what? I've Thankfully, been... <laughs> I get back into my Paradise on Wednesday. Do you really? Yeah. You know what I've been calling the gym lately? The what? Serpentarium. <laughs> Serpentarium. <laughs> that's where at. I grow the pythons. <laughs> Those things look good. They've been I'm eating rabbits. To, they're going to feed later today. Oh, yeah. You're going to feed? Them. You're if sucked If I don't up. feed them, the ASPCA comes down on me. What are you going to feed them? You know, a couple curls. You're going to curl today? Plates. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to come hang out with us at the Comedy Cellar. I am I feel uncomfortable there. Why? Why? Because if you, the last time I came, you, were, you leaned into the booker and you were like, this fucking guy wants to be here. <laughs> Well, that was a mistake, and I had had one too many. Drinks. And then everyone looked at me like, "Man, fuck this guy." Yeah, right. And I, right I was he walking in, over I was to say hi. With the owner. Oh. I was sitting with the booker, the seller, and I was like, "This guy wants to work here so fucking bad." <laughs> and they just and buried like, me. <laughs> we all just made fun of him. And then, and then, and then I'm like, right, "There's nowhere to go." So yeah. I was making a beeline to say hi to Shane, and I just immediately, abruptly turned left to the bar and was like, "Could I have a Corona, please?" <laughs> <laughs> but then we sat together and I was yeah. I was full of piss and vinegar. Yeah, you were in good, good I was like, dude, fuck night. all these people. I don't give a fuck about this. But and then the next morning he was like, You were crazy. I was like, dude, I regret everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every single thing I said. Well, I tried to give him a little bit of uh, you know, life balancing advice weirdly, oh, yeah. which I felt afterwards like I had overstepped. No, you did the right thing. You were saying the exact right thing. Well, I'm glad to hear that. He was like, You gotta have a life outside of this. Mm. Yeah. You got to have friends outside of this, a real actual life. It was very much like um, when Rachel tells uh, Bruce Wayne in, I think, The Dark Knight, don't let me be your only hope for a, a normal life. Mm. Shit. True. I am but very, I would be willing. Very Bruce, dude. Very yeah. Bruce, dude. You should, I was basically training like Bruce to that. Dude, yeah. I, I... no. That, my, my <laughs> trainer's name is now... Wilfred or whatever. What's the guy's name? Alfred. 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 You, should br- Alfred. you should start bringing you know, like... Alfred. You should bring like a some sort of hand weapon next time you go to yeah. Be like, oh, I need it. this is my goal. <laughs> Teach me how to use this. While, while you're doing lunges, a just, staff. just with some nunchucks is fucking He would respect that, dude. If you started using nunchucks. He knew I was using if I was training to do a staff. Yeah, dude, a bow staff would be nasty. Man, you know what's hard? Just squats. Yeah. With dude. zero weight. Mm. Well, it's also hard. It, squats are hard with some guys being like zero weight. When some dudes like, "Why are your ankles turning out like that?" It's like that's just with my. No, he was he was very nice. He okay, knew, you weren't. He knew I. Th- this is a fragile endeavor. Mm. I can quit at any moment. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm very good at being like, "Fuck that." It'll be good. It'll be good. One thing I'm excited. It should tone down the drinking slightly. Yeah, because. You can't be hungover. I can't be hungover no. for my stepping up on boxes. Mm. No. <laughs> so you have to face the guy constantly and have some dude being like, oh, boy. Yeah. And you, you know what? The, the saddest part is, is thinking, because I haven't worked out like hard, mm-hmm. other than Peloton, which you've seen. You're, You're a witnessed. fucking monster. We'll get into the Peloton. He's a monster on the Peloton. I know. Well, we talk about it. We'll get into the Peloton. But <laughs> it's not even like, you know how in your head you're like, oh, I could probably do that. Like I've said about like when dudes watch aren't like war movies or like and they're like dude i could have been special forces yeah it's like i know i couldn't because i did one day of boot camp and i found out quickly i have no business near this <laughs> same thing like i've been sitting here playing video games like i'm probably still pretty strong <laughs> and i could have kept that lie going dude it was like schrodinger's jacked i i still think <laughs> and then the second i walked into dude, that thing i was like i'm not even close to what it's also I so funny maybe dude, i was at dude just gaming being like Take a break. And be like I'm probably strong as fuck. Yeah, I'm probably still <laughs> so fucking strong. But you, but you probably could still squat more than. No, I, I couldn't. My squats, my knees are fucked up. Yeah, but what if was... I were to burden you with a load, you'd be able to like you would. Yes. it would fuck up your kind of knees and shit. But yeah. you'd be able to go. Yeah, I can probably still. But you saw we benched like five years ago, and that shit's gone too. What What was your What was the thing you were best at doing? today or like let's just say <laughs> Box historically boxes, were bro. you better at benching oh, or bench bench so you could put, how many times could you put up 225 pounds right now right now zero. reps you don't zero. think you could do it one time i bet i could not i think you probably could bro, double I 45 bet you i could not yeah yeah i bet you i could not that's the, the combine way now that they after a couple yeah. couple sessions of stepping up and down on boxes <laughs> <True. laughs> i might be back a couple stresses <laughs> i could be back uh no, today today was nice. Threw, threw a medicine ball around. That was pretty tight. 
That made me feel like an athlete. Yeah. Dude, my yeah. vote's to become an absolute unit. It's over time, slowly but surely. I'll see what I can do. It's yeah. uh listen, guys, listen, this is listen, week this is day one. True. This is such a what a change of tone. What do you mean? Because I was saying I want to get jacked and you were like, you fucking incel. Well, first off, <laughs> if I got jacked, it'd be funny. I'm funny. <laughs> you're not funny. <laughs> The reason you're funny is because of how not funny you are. Yeah, that's a fine with me. I don't care. Shut up, dude. I don't care how it Shut comes up. out. This is all you got to do is just agree with him, and then he reneges on his point. <laughs> then he feels bad now. Yeah, then he feels bad. Oh. There is a soul in there somewhere. You just have to. It's under all that cholesterol. So you have to. <laughs> See, that's dig funny. deep. Yeah. So that's you're all you're on creatine right now. You just started. On I'm one weekend. How do you I'm, feel about that? Well, I'm a little nervous. Um, you know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous for like what it's going to do to my kidneys. That's you the think? thing. Yeah, they all tell you to do this super loading phase in the first week. Ah. But I'm not doing that because that scared the shit out of me. Dude, so I'm just doing five, don't need five to grams do creatine, a day. Dude. Yeah, You're creatine. Fine. I've never done it. I want to, I'm curious. It's not like a, I don't, I'm fine with how I look. I'm not worried about yeah. that. I'm just, I want, I'm having, fun. it's something, something new. True, something to do. You know? Something different to, every morning to wake up and just be like, eh, yeah. a little bit. Also, when you take it, it forces you to lift weights more because you're like, really? yeah, I'm worried if I don't lift weights, I'm just going to look like, you know, a water balloon yeah. boy. That'd be nice. Though. That's a good look. See, I'd like <laughs> that. You were to bloat yourself as much as humanly possible. Figure out like the maximum water content your body can handle and hit that. If you were fully I bloated. I help you with the bloat. Oh, yeah? Full bloat. Get you some Bud Lights. Full bloat. <laughs> get you some Bud Lights. Tonight, we'll get you about 15 Bud Lights. <laughs> someone, someone pokes me in the stomach and my ankle just swells out. <laughs> That's the look. Uh, a hard bloat. Get your face as red as possible. Yes. Yes. You start tying yourself off at pressure points. Just get like all your get, circulation. Yeah, get lanky. like a purple hand. Take my shoes off. My, <laughs> my, my toes are black. Just oh, wear long, tie those sneakers a little yo, too tight. On there. stage, wear <laughs> sleeves and have like 15 rubber bands right here. <laughs> and just throughout your set. Just be like, oh my God. <laughs> Take it out. You should get a hermit crab claw. <laughs> and just make it purple. Keep it hum to it. Let it <laughs> Dude, keep it in here. And then towards the end of the set, just be like, well, thank you guys. <laughs> have a black, just a purple hand. Dude. Be like, oh my God, I need to consult the doctor. <laughs> just have a rotting hand. Yo, speaking of consulting, doc on my flight on the way to LA this weekend, they had to, they, they hit the fucking, is anybody here a doctor? Over Come the loudspeaker. On. And a lady had to rush back and help a woman who had a seizure. Whoa. Pretty rowdy stuff. Wow. It'd be cool if Joe Rogan was like, me. Yeah, <laughs> Joe Rogan was like, I've talked to several. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is the thing that they will land the plane for, for one person versus not? They didn't land this one, but we were like an hour and a half out. So it was probably the closest anyway. Is it? Is a heart attack they land it no matter what? You would uh, think. Yeah, probably. I saw a an dead old lady. guy, though, would be tough. If a guy died, like, early, do you think they'd be like, you know what, let's just ride this thing out? Yeah, if they're already dead. He's not going to smell for a while. Yeah. yeah. Ride yeah. it out. Put him on ice. Yeah. <laughs> Throw him in the drink cart. <laughs> yeah, put him on ice, dude. I saw an old lady had a panic attack on a flight, and, like, they did nice. a similar thing. It like, could have been that. I, I don't even know. Yeah. I assumed it. I assumed a seizure or something, stroke, something wild, because there was a loud commotion. Really? Yeah, when whatever it was happened. I didn't see it. It was behind me. And I was in my bed laying there just like, what are these peasants up you to? You should have gone up and be like, can you at least just keep your mask on this entire time? Like, ma'am, I know, I know you're going through it, but we need to be reasonable. And it's about the collective right now. <laughs> Hello. I have your son. What? Who is this? Let's just say they call me the Sparrow. And I have- Is that like a black name? What? No, it's, it's not even my real name. Shut up. You shut up. Hey, I have your son. Steven? Yes. Okay. And I want $2,500. $2,500? What are you 
buying the Lakers? You have 30 minutes to hand deliver. <laughs> That's way too high. He's never going to pay it. It's number seven in the league in hitting with a 331 batting up. But the leader is Freddie Freeman. Got this. What? Did you not hear what I said? Keep him. He's a pain in my ass. Um. Well, what about his ma? What would she think? It's his mother? Yeah, she's out. Tell you what, if you want to swing by and pick her up too, be my guest, but you might need a fucking forklift. Come on, man. He, he can't be that bad. And this place stinks! Put that back on my mouth! But cover my nose! This is utterly disgusting! Jesus Christ. Dad! Pick me up! Don't worry, bud. Hey, hey, don't lay on my bed like that. I have no other... Oh, Christ, oh, you hear it? You hear it? That's gotta be months old. Oh. You're right, this kid sucks. Can you turn on the news or something? Yeah, all the kid talks about is news this, news that. Vaccines and masks. Yeah, we need to get the herd immunity before we can fully open up the economy. I'll come down there and give you herd immunity. You tell him I wish he would. Tell him I wish he would. Take me off to your Bluetooth. In your dreams, Dad. Help. Hey, hey, both of you shut up. Listen, you hear how much of a motherfucker this kid is? I... I'll just bring him back. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to do that. Let's pump the brakes on this. 2,500. Or I'm bringing back your son. 40. 2,000. Or I'm bringing the kid back right now. Alexa! Play the Beach Boys! Boy, well, I ain't got no damn Alexa. Now shuffling songs Jeez. by the Beach Boys. Alexa, down. I assume the answer is no, but do you have a Yonkey candle? Alexa! Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you $400, you babysit him for the weekend. We have a deal. Terrific. Uh, you making this weird face right now? Uh, that face, that means he's hungry. Oh, that ain't no problem, that ain't no problem. I pick him something to eat, he, he alerts to anything? Yeah, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not funny. Is that funny? <laughs> Man, you crazy. <laughs> oh, boom! Fuck. Fail. She they goes in enemy. She's the babes like, all oh, do. dude, they, they would, dude, if you got hit the by a car, do. they'd have to dude, surprise. Be like, they love it. My woman here would, remember cheering against me in UFC? Yep. <laughs> what? What the hell? Support me. Yeah, dude, especially... Especially in the octagon, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, people get hurt well, in the I just took some aggression out on you, dude. You just got punished, brother. <laughs> what are you mad at? No, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> no, I do hate I you think comments. he's mad at your outrageous claims that you can lift 265 pounds bench press. Yeah, with no warm-up? Yeah. Dude, we're fucking lifting heavy. That, that would have been fine like a year ago to talk about that. We yeah. wouldn't have cared, but now it's Now like, me and Matt have been lifting heavy. You should have seen me, <laughs> talk about should've seen me yesterday, dude. <laughs> Don't fucking talk. You couldn't even. Thing. You couldn't even imagine what I was doing yesterday. Yeah, lifting. I don't even know what they're called. What? It's <laughs> doing like you gotta spread your legs with, and hold a kettlebell in between and do you go like side to side lunges on each leg. Damn, it's fucking impossible, dude. How but much I'm you do with that? A thousand pounds? Easily. <laughs> Easy. That's what. This is how it all started. Me and Ahmed. Me and Ahmed lifted, <clears throat> and he in the green room before the show. He's just like, "Did you guys lift?" We we're like, "Yeah," and he goes. Who lifted more? And just immediately made it a competition. And then it's I, not a competition either, Lamar. Just immediately, he's just standing there. Didn't lift. Just standing there, and he's like, "I could lift more." It's like, dude, why are you doing this to me? Why are you getting me going? I'm trying to have like a fun this? time. Yeah. You put a bug in your crawl. And then right. as soon as we got done saying it, he's like, "No, you started it." And I was like, "God damn it!" <laughs> wow. That's I can right. do it though. I can. Two sixty-five. Yeah. One rep max. Yep. We can settle this tomorrow. Dude. We can settle it right now. <laughs> yeah. I told I told my trainer yesterday about it. Load him up. And I said, "Can we go into that gym tomorrow so Lemare can bench two sixty five? He said, "Yes." Let's go. He also said he didn't believe in you. I, I said the guy hasn't benched in probably a decade, and he claims two sixty five. Just he knows it. In What's his the soul. What the trainer say? He laughed. He said, that's very funny. He said, ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that he's underestimating because I'm a freak, dude. I'll do it.
You're a freak? <laughs> I'm a freak, dude. Why are you saying you're a freak? Because I'm a freak. <laughs> yeah, but what, what evidence? <laughs> you can't just say I'm a freak. True. That's a good point. Yeah, oh, this was, you know, dude, this was making me laugh so hard. We were driving. We were going to the, the Reds batting practice. And LaMare was like, I, can, I, I play a little baseball. I was, like, I was like, dude, you told me about your baseball career. Don't. <laughs> I think he forgot he told me. It was so funny. It's my favorite story about LaMare. He quit. He was just, he just walked off the field. Oh, yeah. You left your position. He just walked straight, <laughs> yeah. just walked straight home. <laughs> just standing in the outfield playing with bugs. Just like, you know what? It's time for Street Fighter, pizza rolls. <laughs> I'm walking straight off the field. That's crazy, dude. Legendary. Because <laughs> you were saying you got to go in there if they, they, they like. You oh, yeah. We were up. saying, yeah. I was like, if, if at BP, they're like, I'd be like, dude, can we get one pitch? <laughs> yeah. I just want to see it. I just want to oh, see it. Oh, my God. You have to if you're there. Did they give it to you? No, I had no understanding of batting practice. <laughs> <laughs> what they do? No, it's fully. It's just T-ball? two major league baseball teams. You, you, they're not just letting dudes out on the field. <laughs> I got there. I was like, I'm a fucking moron that I thought this was. You thought there was a guy being like, all right, center left. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, Edge actually up do, second base. they actually do do that. Do they really? Yeah. It's awesome. This guys like just slowly field balls. Yeah. This it was a uh, pause. It was awesome, though. <laughs> It was awesome. Batting practice would be sick. Yeah. yeah. HRD would be nice, too. A little nice. HRD. Got to see Votto hit some BP. LaMare left a minute before we got in. As soon as he walked away, they were like, all right. <laughs> well, that left- did suck, though. That sucked. We what? were standing outside for like an hour. And uh, just outside the stadium. It was the one day it was 90 degrees in Cincinnati. Oh. Just standing there, getting cooked. It was tough. So you took off and you didn't get into the stadium? No, I took a scoot to the game store. <laughs> you walked away from the game Freak. again. <laughs> you, you walked away from the game again for the second time in your life. He was walking away from the game. Why do you keep walking away from the game, dude? Keep walking in the cornfield, disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my game, dude. It's not my game. <laughs> what's, your, what's your game? Bench, bench press is your game, dude. Powerlifting. By the way, you are built to be a perfect powerlifter. You I could do. you could squat nine thousand pounds, dude. <laughs> no, dude, I could totally do the two sixty five. I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> you do have you do have short arms. Short arms, big chest. He is strong. Yeah, I know. Undeniably no strong. No doubt. But I just don't. I don't love the confidence having no. I don't think you've ever done it. <laughs> Listen, two sixty five. I don't know if I've ever. No, I've never tried to max out though. Yeah, but when's the last time you benched? That's the only thing that I'm. <laughs> it was last. It was the pandemic. It was at a YMCA last year. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, it right. went that bad for you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We got some. T- what, what were you doing? Do you remember? <laughs> Well, like I was doing the arm johns. <laughs> All right, I was doing knees. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> you were hanging from fucking walk like crosswalk signs and doing pull ups. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> hopefully we can settle that as soon as we get yeah, done yeah, with this. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make me very happy. Either way, it's going to be a victory. Yeah, it's win win. If he gets it, awesome. it's it's hilarious. Awesome. If he doesn't get it, ooh. I'm going to squeal in his face. If he doesn't get it. I'm not going to help him lift the bar up off his chest. I'm going to put my face over you and go, wee, wee. I'm going to say, squeal, swine. He'll have to live under it until he can push it up. (laughs) (laughs) He'll be like the lady in the coffin and kill Bill, dude. You have to punch him right (laughs) now. Nice. Hey. Back to us, dude. Hey, back to us. Back to the real show. Uh, so you filmed yeah, your dude. first ever comedy special, I filmed, dude. I, I this weekend it was awesome. How did it go? I think it went well. It was uh again. I I did the brutal workout the day of. I don't know. I was just like killing time. I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking. And it was, it was because I was doing it with Billy. So he's like, oh, dude, this is gonna be the hardest shit ever. So I kept being like, sorry, it's not that bad. Just I, to know, I couldn't help. It. I couldn't help but be like, this isn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, I left and was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. So then, since I had lifted so much, I was like, well, I need to eat a lot. 
So the like we I didn't eat much for the first show, and then that night I went out and I pigged on Mexican food and ate like the spiciest fucking hot sauce possible. And I I've, rem- I've had this stuff before. I knew it was yeah. a little spicy. I didn't know how spicy it was, dude. It was like I was uh, like hiccuping. Spicy. It was so hot. Yeah. Then I like fucking rubbed it. It was on a paper towel and I like went to blow my nose and it right went all over my face. I was fucked up. Yeah. So I like I woke up. So day one went well. One show, great. Way too spicy food. Everything's fine. Woke up that morning, like spicy, like diarrhea. Yeah, true. true. <laughs> it's a day in the life, baby. Woke up, got out of bed, <laughs> had some spicy diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, day after the second, before the second show, I ate Indian food. So my ass was, dude. I don't know why I did this I get to myself. It. I get it. But when the day when you film a special, it's just pure panic, it's anxiety, just spaz. spaz, dude. Dude, and it was. I was telling McKeever. At I've, least you did that. I went and shaved my head. Yeah, I didn't get the haircut. I didn't get the haircut. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. I was just walking. I was like, I got to make some change. I got to do something right now. I was talking. I was like, bring I'm gonna shave my fucking head before the special. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Is you want your hair to look different? Yeah, different show. I get that. But yeah, dude, I was telling McKeever, I was like, my stomach, between like the food I was eating and like the adrenaline I was, I was like, my DNA thinks it's in the fucking Crusades, dude. Yeah. It's just nothing but like aromatic cuisines and just pure yeah, panic yeah, yeah. and just shitting. It was crazy. The diarrhea was unbelievable. I should have documented that as the intro. Yeah. Just like, just yeah. A loud shit. Just have shit. this camera follow you out from a loud shit straight to stage <laughs> that'd actually be pretty sick that would be awesome yeah but no it went well dude it was fucking nerve-wracking dude the first uh the day leading up to it i was just like fuck dude there's gonna be so many cameras i'm gonna shit my, i'm gonna shit the bed yeah. just blank and be like nope i'm not doing this my dude my negative self is still strong and it was just like dude what if well hear me out here brother what if you fucking go up there and go Oh. Oh. <laughs> camera one oh. yeah. camera two oh. <laughs> it's just the whole special <laughs> staring straight in every camera I, I give myself no credit at all That's yeah, like, of course. in my head I was like there's a 40% chance I'm gonna go oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you can see the camera you just go <laughs> Then I got out and the first show was fine. I was like, what the fuck? I'm I'm nuts. It's so scary. I was for sure convinced I was gonna go. What is this this is the mic for the crowd? (laughs) 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 Take all your clothes off. (laughs) Should have a full mental breakdown. Yeah, yeah, I even talking about it right now is giving me the willies. Oh yeah, yeah. I got like two more weeks. At least you've been through it before, though. Not like this one. Yeah, true. It was a theater with big cameras. <laughs> big oh, cameras. I'm just gonna go <laughs> even more so, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, with the YouTube, I felt like. <laughs> uh, how many levels is this theater? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woo, that's big. <laughs> how many people here again? Oh, uh, that's like the size of my high school. So uh, many, <laughs> fucking ten times the size of my <laughs> high school. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's one of the worst feelings. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vertebrae. It's so good, dude. So he broke it doing like push or sit ups. <laughs> His back popped. Oh, out. he didn't do what he didn't. They say like if you do the wrong stuff, you can like fuck your back up for like sit ups and like lifting your legs up. Probably. Yeah, he did. He like didn't keep his neck down and broke his back. He shattered his back and oh, then knocked shit. a guy out. <laughs> I've never lifted with my legs once. People tell me that my whole life. I don't know yeah. what that means. Lift with your legs. Well, it means you're like curling your back. Oh. Yeah, they used to do these things where you like lift your knees up. Yeah. Like, Dude, those things will break your spine. It's like, yeah, oh, come on. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I'm not fine. doing them enough to break my back. That's true. But lifted yesterday, dude. Had to run. Did you? Oh. Liquid death is a drink that looks like beer, but it isn't. And that's fun. Wow, it looks like a tall boy. Liquid I love, death I love it. Makes, <laughs> makes sparkling water, mountain water, and now iced tea in a can. I love people thinking I'm out fucking getting wasted. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Shake up your day and put one in your kid's lunchbox. Is that Holy really your kid's shit, kid? make your kid the coolest. <laughs> Chug one at 9 a.m. while on your morning stroll through the mall. While del- with delicious flavors and fun names like Grim Leafer. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in Peach. 
An armless Palmer. Armless Palmer is the one that gets me. The rest of them are somewhat. <laughs> Grim Leafer. Liquid Death is great anytime, anywhere. My personal favorite, I'll tell you, is the Grim Leafer. <laughs> I like the armless Palmies. You're smart, so you already know that more most plastic bottles are never actually recycled. Liquid Death comes in cans and donates a portion of their profits to help end plastic pollution. You can find Liquid Death's healthy beverages yeah, on you Amazon. Yeah, you heard us, Indonesia. Oh, yeah. Stop putting plastics in the water. Yeah, seriously, dude. Philippines, cut it out. <laughs> Southeast Asia, enough of the goddamn plastics. Liquid Death's tired of it. Seriously, dude. Hopefully Google that. See who's actually doing it. You hopefully using that 20% to you know, like, do what they have yeah, to do. It's not us. <laughs> get it near a retailer near you. Plus, Matt and Shane's listeners get 20% off their first Liquid Death apparel purchase available. Ooh. Exclusively at liquidly or yeah. liquidly exclusively at liquiddeath.com slash drenched. Exclusions may apply. That's liquiddeath.com slash drenched. Mm. <laughs> Matt, now let's get back to our show. Please. It's hard to find time to go to the grocery store, much less learn a brand new language. Obviously. Oh, fuck, that shit's impossible. It's crazy. Luckily, Babbel is here to make the process simple. Learn a new language with the app that's addictively fun. With 15-minute lessons, it's easy to find the time, and with sessions created by experts, you'll actually retain what you learned. Choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. What language would you pick if you had to learn another language? German. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. (laughs) That'd be a cool one to do. I might do that, too. Don't be nervous if you're traveling out of the country. With Babbel's speech recognition technology, you can improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. Try out their podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. <laughs> right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash drenched. That's babbel.com slash drenched for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Language for life. Thank you. When you look your best, you feel your best. True Classic has everything you need to upgrade your wardrobe and approach all that life throws at you with confidence. Mm. Uh, I have a I have one on right now, dude. Fucking love it. I do That's like why you've them. been so fucking confident today. You could tell, couldn't been you? Brash and brazen. You could tell, just farting whenever the I want. Farts are as confident as it's I've ever crazy. seen. It squares my shoulders up to where I can just go. Yeah, nothing could stop me. But I do like they they grew on me. Honestly, I you know I usually am skeptical. They truly are a classic. Yeah, they truly. <laughs> They're built and designed for a man's body. Everything yeah. True Classic creates is a blend of quality and comfort, giving you the best of both worlds. Stock up on basics with stop up. On, uh, Don't worry, Matt. Stock up on basics with their classic tees. There goes all that confidence. <laughs> <laughs> that have over two hundred thousand five star reviews, or hit the gym with True Classics performance essentials. Hit the gym, turn heads in the gym. Oh my god, dude. Get comfortable. Get going. I love turning heads in the gym. It's the best. People go, holy shit, that treadmill's about to shatter. That's how I, when I walk around, after, when I put the weights back, I am, I'm walking around like, yeah, these oh, guys yeah. are like, holy shit, this is fucked up. Yeah. This guy's huge. Dude, get 20% off of trueclassic.com with code drenched. Free shipping is included on purchases over $100. Hmm. That's with a 100% risk-free guarantee with a 30-day return policy. That's code drenched at trueclassic.com. You can't go wrong. It's look good, feel good season. It is look good, feel good season. And with that, let's get back to that fucking silly podcast we do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm reading a book about longevity right now, and they're saying, like, if you don't work out three days a week, you're just going to completely degrade. Peter Atia. I think I'm done with all these guys. We're all yeah. going to completely degrade, so this, this, they can true, shut up. True. But this guy is saying Everybody that, wants to live forever these days. Well, it's not, so there's health span and lifespan. He's talking about, he's like, lifespan, oh, health span, lifespan's whatever he goes, but in order to be able to, like, move when you're older. He was talking about, like, old ladies that, like, tear their, like, shatter their femur falling off a curb. He was like, yeah. that's avoidable. He's like, you can avoid that. <laughs> no, you can't, dude. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you, <laughs> you cannot. You're old. My grandma played golf every day. Towards the end, she was... She was laying down. <laughs> she was yeah. all the time. <laughs> She'd fall, get stuck for like I four believe. hours before someone found her. <laughs> I want to believe I can hop a curb when I'm 80 and not break my femur, dude. Dude, dude try it's to hop happen. now. It's so hard. Dude. It's inevitable. 
I had to jog yesterday on the treadmill. I was Ugh. fucking dying. Dude, this guy says... Publicly, it, there was two girls working out next girls? to us. Oh, no. It was, it so you ran as fast shame. as you could. I bumped it up. <laughs> I bumped that speed up. <laughs> I was gassed. <laughs> it was nice, though. He's like, you got a nice stride. I was like, thank you, dude. Oh, thank wow. you, man. That helps. Yeah, that's a nice move, though. You're gassed on the treadmill. There's girls. Be like, I got a business call. I got a yeah, business yeah, call. Yeah. So... Your business. Sell, sell, sell. A million dollars? I don't even care. That's the move that guy pulled in the airport. The, taking a shit? He was embarrassed shitting, so he's like, I got to look cool right now. Um, Dude. Let's buckle down on the investments. <laughs> the ground swell was nice. Oh, it's going to ground swell. Ground swell is nice. I want, I want to know what the fuck it means. I don't know what it means. I don't know. Ground swell. Uh, so I like to ground swell and partner up with this startup like, god nice. damn dude, you're turning me on in here yeah sam bankman freed over here <laughs> <laughs> they say just walking really saves your ass I've heard walking well, i'm a big fan of that one but then just it's like, walk yeah i like to walk low impact this guy was saying you should be able to like hang from a bar Hanging for two big. minutes dude two minutes That's i was like crazy. i gotta be able to do a minute dude 30 seconds i was like yeah hanging's tough it's hard as hell yeah. hang tough you can hang you're i hanging. can hang but i did this thing i was walking around in miami hang. with my lady and this guy goes 200 bucks, anyone could hang for two minutes. I was like, oh, I got this. But if you lose, you pay him 10. I think I got like 48 seconds. Oh, fuck. That's it's an great. eternity. That's, yeah, we dude, had to do that. At, 48 at, seconds is pretty good. Football. <laughs> we had to do that. You had to hang for a minute. Really? You had to hold 245 plates for a minute. And the other guy had to hold the bar up for a minute. And the three of you would rotate every minute. It's the longest minute That's of your life. Sucked dick, dude. <laughs> yeah, but dude, you won't shatter your femurs on a curb when you're 80. Yeah. Well, no, I he's got shattered in forty nine. Yeah, certainly. No, you, but no. The guy was saying if you get strong enough, but you can basically Dragon Ball Z. If you just get jacked as fuck, you can ward off the deaths of like this, like the stupid shit of just like laying in a bed and dying. He's like, if you're I don't strong, know. have you seen Jack guys when they get old? Yeah, but they, they a lot of them take steroids mm. and they overeat. He was saying if you get jacked enough and just starve yourself your whole fucking life, you got a yeah. shot, dude. You have a shot. At what? <laughs> And just fucking hopping over a curve. miserable life. Hopping over a curve when you're 85. If you suffer your entire life, <laughs> when you're 85, you won't be hunched over like the rest of those fucking losers that had a good time. That's the other thing. These guys are all fasting, too. You're not allowed to eat. You got to wake up at 5 a.m. and you got to shower cold. You got to yeah. look at the sun first thing, too. You yeah, you got to look at the sun. sun. Yeah, it's all a bunch of, it's bullshit. It's Dude, I, I'm pretty motivated yeah. to do all this stuff and I can't. I get up and I go. Not fucking, I can't. It's Good so for you, hard. dude. It's hard. I'm you gonna look, get back on. You look healthy. Thank yeah. you. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on. The eating's a big thing. Try not to eat when I'm not hungry. That's an easy one. Oh, no, yeah. it's America. You gotta eat. Yeah, you gotta yeah, munch. Dude, I eat to the point where I'm uncomfortable every but grazing single Grazing is good oh, yeah. for you. Just graze. <laughs> Just every graze. Day. Every day I eat and I go. Jeez, I got tomorrow. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat for ten hours after this. I'm full, and it's just like it is dinner time. Dude, yeah, I have to eat. It is dinner time. Yeah, you ever you ever fall asleep and you go, hey, I didn't eat. I was sleeping for like seven hours. That's pretty good. Yeah, dude. Every day I wake up like, nice. Yeah. Ten hours off. Yeah. Burning a lot of fat. Yeah, yeah. true. True, true. I'm going to I'll go for it. I'll, I'll go for it. That's the other thing. They'll go, you got to get sleep. Sleep's a superpower. You have to sleep. And then they're like, wake up at five. Yeah. So which one yeah. is it? And wake up and grind all day. Yes. Yeah, but don't be mean to yourself, get too. Sleep. That was the other thing. But be nice to yourself. You got to be nice to yourself. Be nice, grind. Be nice to yourself. Like, you That's a good way to call jerk it off. <laughs> Again, I'm being we, nice to myself. It's, it's almost like the manosphere shit we were talking about last week. Yeah. Where it's like, all right, dude. Here's all you have to do. Yeah. Okay. Tell that to the guy who's got a fucking job. Right. Yeah, but that's, like, but that's you need th- to wake up at five, run seven miles. I'm up. Yeah, and the I next book's up. like running destroys your legs. I know. Yeah. And then yeah, you know, so it's just, a bunch of guys. They don't know. Nah. They're not eighty. Yeah. Well, right. I, I, think I hope that guy you, gets to eighty and he goes, man, staring at the sun every morning didn't do shit. It sucked. <laughs> Burned my no red. I wanted to be blind. my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm blind. laughs> I was blind and I don't have friends because I <laughs> bothered everyone. But you're jacked. But you're jacked. You're jacked. There's a jacked blind guy terrorizing a fucking <laughs> yeah. village. <dude. laughs> yeah, I wonder. I mean, that is, though, you know, it's one of those things, man. It's like, yeah, I don't know. I have no concept of being 60 and my body just fucking failing completely. I don't know. Every once in a while, they interview those people. They're like, how'd you get to 120? Oh, like, yeah. I fucking bacon and vodka. Yeah, Pan- true. Pancakes and whiskey. <laughs> yeah. They always say that. Some yeah, old lady. those guys. Just smoking on camera <laughs> yeah. every yeah. time. True. They do put those guys on cam. What is the oldest person? Let's take a bet. I think uh, all right, let's go. 
No, that's too high. They lie. There's all these. There's all these Tibetan monk fucking liars. <laughs> Suck my tongue. <laughs> he's forbidden, yeah. dude. That was making me laugh so <laughs> fucking my hard. Dog. Did you see that? The Suck my Lama? kiss. Yeah, I saw uh, the dog. Suck, my... Suck my kiss. <laughs> 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 the only reason it was making me laugh. My sister got in the car and was just like. Some kid sucked the Dalai Lama's tongue. <laughs> He's holding this. Laugh, <laughs> Multiple kids. He had a whole yeah. sizzle reel. It's a fun <laughs> gag, dude. It's a gag. True, that could be, you know, maybe that's some cultural thing of like sucking a wise man's tongue. Come on. I swear to God, I don't think it was a sexual thing. I, what are you talking about? I have about? no idea. If your girlfriend did that to a Dalai Lama, you If wouldn't... we were a fucking dude that lived in the mountain that thought he was a reincarnated, like, fucking <laughs> god. Well, how about a handshake? Who knows? <laughs> Suck my tongue. <laughs> dude, he, who knows what that guy's doing? <laughs> I asked my girl to do it. I'd never heard of the tongue suck. How was it? It's not nice. great. It's nice it when good. you're the one doing it. I like doing it. I don't mind like doing suck it. Your tongue. I like the fucking just, whoa. Yeah, I tried deep throat. <laughs> Suck so, my kids. I'm saying 110. Nah, there's some geezers. You're pretty close. Right now, The Guardian has an article that says the oldest lady is in France, and she's 118. Damn. She survived the the bird flu, the fucking... Holocaust. <laughs> Both world wars, yeah. The That's Spanish Civil nice. War. Damn. Yeah. COVID. Anything to look forward to in your life? Have you seen the Barbie movie? Because I <laughs> I did not see it. Are you going to see it? <laughs> I am not going to see it. I want to see it because it's it's interests me because like it makes me feel like women are like they they're goofballs. Like it's they it's this feminist movie that where they're like we're empowered, but they're still getting this message from Barbie. Like they're adults now getting yeah, their they're messages. adults that need to be talked to by a doll. Yeah, to feel good about themselves. Go, yeah, I can I can be beautiful. <laughs> and there's a box in the theater that they take pictures in. In every theater, there's a Barbie box? Yeah, like, there's little Barbie boxes that they get in there. I should have done that for my Hustler photo shoot. <laughs> that would have been great. I, have, I was also thinking about laying down nude like, uh, like Burt Reynolds did in his. And uh, just with a the f- tiniest flaccid penis. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? That would be a treat for everyone, I think. That would be a real strange move should have went full tupac in the tub oh just a bunch of just shit Don't all over your body that on me. i would never be in the tub <laughs> oh the little pecorino romano pork oh yeah just a little bit of tip coming yeah. out of the water that's fun <laughs> that is very fun see the little, little worm dance in the water you know <laughs> yeah. that was always a treat i gotta take a bath soon <laughs> I, I took one within the last three months and it is <laughs> yeah harrowing it's really you nuts. get in there and you go whoa was it a ha- after a hangover uh yeah it's the best it's the the hotel room just <laughs> <laughs> would be like oh i got a show in an hour <laughs> you could just see yourself slipping on down and testing your breath yeah. how That's long fun. can that i is hold fun. it <laughs> maybe a little longer and then take the yeah. sweet release yeah maybe <laughs> if just I not just... come up and that's I'm, how you end. I'm thinking about the sweet release now. I've, I'm very stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of things going on. Yeah. And uh, one of which is a theater tour that is the special. My special is going to come out in the middle of this fucking tour. Yeah. It's crunch time for new material. And then it's uh, I don't have the stones anymore. I used to be able to bomb with ease. I it's got to be now, hard. Now there's a part of me that's like, I got to I can't. Bomb. There's all these comics you're watching. Is it like you mean even at like club spots? Yeah, like I'm gonna uh, do the stand tonight, and I'm trying to just do, just new material. Just yeah. like I got to try this out, and uh, and just know it's a risk. Someone just someone's gonna back go. there being like knew it. Yeah, be like this is the fucking guy. This mm. guy sucks. Uh, yeah, but it was, it was it's either that or push the tour. And just do clubs in the meantime. Yeah. But I'm still going to procrastinate until I have to write a new hour. I'm not going to be proactive and no, why make you? the right choice. I'm going to play the video games. I'm going to yeah. walk around. <laughs> and then I'm going to go, oh, shit, the show's at eight. <laughs> <laughs> what what, what was that one fucking thing I thought was funny? <laughs> what did I? Oh, that Hitler only wanted to make a world of Triple H's, which is gay. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. That's a half hour. <laughs> there you go. That's been making me laugh. Don't you think that's funny? That <laughs> Hitler's, Hitler's actual dream was jacked blonde dudes running around. Yeah, absolutely. So basically a Triple H. 
He was like, just, wouldn't it? He was sitting there and he was going, wouldn't it be sick if our whole country was Triple H? <laughs> I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> What happened? What happened that was that made him spaz? He killed World himself. War One. What was the? <laughs> oh, it was like some sort of disrespectful thing that happened on a train, right? That I don't know the whole. Uh, uh, they signed the treaty, the peace I don't treaty. Recall. Oh, that that, that was signed War on a train, War. and that was from World War One. Train War. car. Yes. Did he signed. keep that? Did he get that train back? Oh yeah, yeah true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he was yeah. really yeah. about yeah. that. Yeah, there we he go. Said, a little history. Did, history. He said we got betrayed. Yeah. Who the fuck's at the top? He goes, what are these goddamn Jews doing up there? <laughs> oh, the train, they had that in that the movie. The Jews are in the way of my dream of jacked Triple H's <laughs> and fucking see? labor hosen or however you say that. What do they wear? Leader hosen. Leader hosen. I just like to see Just the think of work. Triple H and leader hosen. <laughs> now imagine a million of them. You yeah, would be able to brag on your country. Just you're all Jack Triple H's doing just suck it. like suck it. <laughs> 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 just all I want is Triple H's and Shawn Michaels, my whole country. Yo, can you imagine your whole military just hitting suck it yeah. at the enemy? Russia was Soviet Union's just a whole army of undertakers just sitting up out of the snow. <laughs> America's John Cena, Hulk Hogan called it dibs. We win. We win. Doesn't get better. Couple rocks. Yeah, a couple rocks in there. Yeah. What do you think about that? Stone Cold Steve Austin's obviously. Well, yeah. America is Stone Cold. Cold. Kurt, what about Kurt Angle? Is he in that mix or Obviously not? Kurt Angle. Okay, yeah, we're, just, we're all the WWF. <laughs> now I'm Hitler having a gay dream. <laughs> America's actually just all Kurt Angles running around. <laughs> so there's that. I'm going to give that a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go on stage and go, guys. Think about how funny it is that Hitler would have loved Triple H. What? <laughs> what else do I have here? How long are you doing? Like just a, like a twenty? Or are you just doing? I'm gonna see how long I can. Long. Let's go. Yeah. Do you have like Chappelle like Car Blanche now? Where if you wanted to, you could do three hours. I could, but I can't. Yeah, I know. What's gonna happen tonight is I'm gonna do seven minutes of new. Yeah, and go. Whew, this crowd hates this. <laughs> Don't you guys think I look fucking retarded? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna go. Holy <laughs> shit! This guy's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do Trump? I'm like, I'm, I'll do Trump. I'll do it for you. I promise. <laughs> that is the scene in the film of your life when you really hit your breaking point, and it's like the lights hitting you, and you realize you got to go into. Don't I look retarded? And <laughs> the, the tears and the, the yeah. waking. And it's like the quick cuts of the zhu, zhu, hotel room, hotel room, like. <laughs> Guys, don't I look like a fucking idiot? God damn, Burke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I see everything in film. I can't help God. it. I'm an editor, dude. <laughs> damn it, Burke. <laughs> and then your dogs will be here. When and then there's fall. one moment of just we'll like, be here for you. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it tonight. I don't look that retarded, dude. <laughs> And like, Boom. Boom. That's and right, back, Shane. I can't do a, a Louie, ditch. but you know that's when Louie would tell you. Then something. I'm digging a ditch again. My dad's going. <laughs> you back to you kind of look retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I should have said that. Yeah, like when Zoolander returns to the mine. <laughs> we gotta be at like fifteen, We're at ten, dude. Oh, oh, 40? We're going, <laughs> yeah, we're going yeah. faster than I thought. This yeah, thing yeah. might be a hit. <laughs> we need Matt. I need Matt. Yeah, I was about to say we're not here every week. I, I mean, mean Matt. We're, Matt. we're just sitting here, like, oh, my text yeah. would say, Matt. Hey, give Matt, me an idea. Matt, you want to call in from New York, dude? Like a ring, ring, like a ring, ring. Get him on the phone. See if he can talk all hopped up. That would be fun. A little perkin pooker doodle uh, chat is always nice. Damn, Matt I'm so the, glad he didn't perish in the ER. Like so many journeymen, when they take that last fight, they shouldn't have. It's glad yeah. you hung up. The, it's good you hung up the gloves when you did. That'd have been so, a wild way to die. Just had an open <laughs> mic, just just by some bipolar dude who uh, was yeah. who was taking shots. Yeah, yeah, he was out there. Yeah, they uh, what's it called? The bartender that used yeah. to be there. He said that day he he must have came in there like I'm gonna get fucked up and fight Nate. He said he came in. He didn't even usually drink. Yeah, took four shots of whiskey. And then started with me the second I got there. I must have just been brewing, and it's like he just hated me. Or maybe he thought, like, short black dude, this will be a cool dub if I get this one over. I don't know. <laughs> no, y'all love, y'all love, like, not in a racial way, but everybody likes, like, y'all like when y'all get one of us in, in boxing, UFC. I remember the first time I saw it was Ricky Had, when Ricky Had 
the the energy y'all had for me when Ricky had yeah. was hey, fighting Floyd. Hey, I won't. I won't, be, about? I won't. I won't deny this. I was a big Hatton guy. Yeah. Until Floyd came out to Born in the USA, and then oh. I was like, "That's my guy. <laughs> That's my guy, dude. He got me. He tricked me." <laughs> Floyd uh, is super pro. Yeah, that's why Tyson Fury is the greatest of all time. Yeah, that first it, one I watched quietly in a black bar off Atlantic Avenue. I watched Tyson the first Furry, Furry Wilder oh, and just I had mean, to quietly sip my beer and enjoy myself and not freak out too much. Yeah. Because that, that was yeah, it's so yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. So, dude, we never get to win those. That was that was we a victory. That was a great those. victory. Yeah. You, know, you go on the internet all day. It's like, this guy said the N-word right before we started filming. Yeah, yeah. And it's just a black dude beating the hell out of a guy. Yeah. Just a poor white man. And, and then There's so them. few white dudes winning that fight that I know them. I remember them. You ever see that white dude rock that black dude in front of a gas station? No. Well, it's nice. <laughs> my algorithm won't let me see I'll it. I'll send that to you. <laughs> that was like eight years ago. That was one of our last victories. Damn. So other than that, we just have Tyson Fury. You know what, though? I bet you guys aren't pulling out the cameras if you are winning. Cause yeah, if, now the body cams. Well, yeah, those are the only those yeah. you can't do anything those, about. We get, we get some dogs. <laughs> but a gas station, because this is what I've been telling like my friends. I'm like, yo, white dudes are training. They all do mar mixed martial True. arts now. You guys have, are fed I, up. I will be honest. Yeah, we're not. No, we're not taking <laughs> it. I will say the white man. I mean, that's a tough algorithm to get hit with, and the whole country got hit with black dudes. Yeah, destroying white dudes. Yeah. That got some white dudes into the gym, hitting them with fucking oh, yeah. leg locks. You better watch out. You're yeah. going to get an arm bar in front of a fucking sheets. That, I, what a horrible thing. You're oh. out there with like your lit woman and your kids. You, you think tap. you got a layup. Yeah. And then he just, you just go to sleep from a choke. <laughs> oh. You wake up to him. Like, <laughs> yeah, helping being you. there for you. Oh. Sitting your head up straight. I saw this video of two dudes doing backyard boxing. and they're both black dudes, but the one he was winning, but then just got caught with a perfect one in the chin and fell asleep. And then you just hear dead. And then his kids who look like they're like between Simba. five and eight. Just yeah. Simba just came out. <laughs> Yo, it's say so wake up, Dad. <laughs> it was so sad. Yeah. Uh, but that did get the whites training. Look at a lot of guys, not me. <laughs> I'm not in the jujitsu gym. Jujitsu is hard. Man. The jujitsu that's, that's a hard be. one. Did to, you ever do jujitsu? I did like one little mini. I I didn't get full on the mat. Yeah. I never wanted to do that. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't care yeah. for it as no one does. I don't really like it in the sport that much. Seeing it and it scares me that it's so so effective. Yeah, it's annoying. It's it does feel like a cheat code of life in those fights. You can just be. You can just like live with a different level of confidence yep. talking yeah. to people. Yep. Yeah, I want to do it, but I want to get in the gym first. Like, I want to start working out again, and then I don't want to go and try to train for Nate, fighting. let me stop you. Everybody wants what you're describing. <laughs> sure, I'd love to go to the gym and start training <laughs> to become a fucking cool fighter. I don't you got to realize, this is it's not in the stars. <laughs> you're not, dude. You're excited about the fucking Asian chick on TikTok. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> That's your world. Accept it. I know. I knew Cherry Crush. You're by talking name. about video games that are not out yet. Accept it. You don't know games You're before like, they come Star out. Star World's coming out. I can't fucking wait. I can't wait for 2027. And he just happened to be the president, and he vetoed it. Yeah, and it was a thing you don't veto. You can't like, veto it. No, but he, he vetoed it. So then the next guy, we'll get to him, is his vice president, Van Buren. He takes over. Mm -hmm. He takes over a completely destroyed economy. Because he vetoed the bank. That's the that's the way it goes. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. cool guys. Yeah. America is made of cowboys and nerds. So yeah. you got cowboys who show off and who show what kind of people we are. And then you have nerds who actually get things done. But the cowboys get the credit. Yeah. And then nerds get fucked every he time. He got fucked. His nickname was Van Ruin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He had a lot of nicknames. <laughs> They're like, Old Kinderhook. He yeah. was another total nerd, and everybody hated Van Buren. He was like a little fucking... Yeah. He just, was supposed mm. to be, I think, he was one of those vice presidents that was supposed to be a link. Like, because Jackson was the man in the South, kind of, or wherever, and mm -hmm. they were like, let's get this dork to... He was know. from uh, he was Kinderhook, Pence. New York. He was his Pence. Yeah, yeah. He was uh, Trump's yeah. Pence. Yeah, he was... Uh, the, the, the legend is that, you know, he was one of the first people to have... Uh, um, pamphlets like a lot of pamphlets like the, the press like the mass press started to get big so his pamphlet was because he was called old kinderhook because he's from kinderhook new york so his thing was okay and it was oh, a check mark nice 
And that's where people say that okay comes from. What? Yeah. Because it was like his thing was okay with a check mark. It was the point. It was like vote for old Kinnerhook. That's the thing. That's the thing. When you look into this, that's where all of our shit comes from. Yeah, that's nuts. It's all of this. All right. Well, you got to speed up because this one's funny. Van Buren sucked, whatever. Yeah, Yeah, he's his. Here comes Harrison. He's the next guy. Everybody called him old granny because he was too much of a geezer to run. So on his inauguration, he was like, I'm going to prove to everyone how tough I am. Yeah. It was freezing cold and raining. He had like an 8,000 word inauguration. Yeah. (laughs) He got a pneumonia and died. (laughs) He died. He was uh, like a few months. He died immediately. Like shortest term. Damn. Short his term. Never Amelia. had a, didn't have a minute of acting as president. Trying to prove he was tough. Got sick the first day. <laughs> died immediately. And died a few months later. What? So, yep. Uh, G. That brings us to Tyler. He did nothing. <laughs> Tyler was uh His general, party abandoned right? him. No, oh, no. Of Taylor. He was Harrison's vice president. So oh, Harrison dies. Him. The one thing he did do is set the precedent that the vice president stays as president. Nice. So everyone was like, "What? we don't know what to do here. The president's never died. Do you take over as an interim guy mm. until we find a new guy? And he was like, no, I'm just the president. I'm the president. And enough that his party hated him for that. So they were they his own party abandoned him. They didn't Why? put him up for real election. Well, because they thought they should they wanted to choose put, another guy. They wanted to be able to put a another stronger guy. stronger guy. Yeah. yeah. So he stayed. He had n- no parties supported him. He got nothing done. He was never up for re-election again. It must have been awkward. That brings us to our guy, though. This is who I wanted to get to. What? Polk, dude. <gasps> Turns out Polk's the man. Really? Yeah. Dude. I know nothing about Polk. No. He was one term because he was a dark horse out of nowhere, and he promised everybody in his party, I'll only do one term. That way, some of you guys that are good, that are getting ready, you can take over. I yeah. promise to do one term. When he was running, his opponent's slogan was, who is James K. Polk? Like, people were talking shit. As soon as he got in, oh, this is good. He was a tiny guy. He was 5'8". Mm, Which was like that's really small. Yeah, he was five eight, and when he got in, his wife was the one who came up with, "They got to play a hail to the chief every time you come in a room to give you some respect." Give him a little, yeah, yeah. So that's why that happens. Nice. Um, <laughs> so right away, Polk starts going. But wild. it was kind of a joke. It's like if a midget walked in. Yeah, it's just a little yeah. guy. <laughs> no, Polk's a beast. Immediately, he starts fucking with the British about organ. So they have the organ territory. Yeah, out there. Which is just beaver hunting. Everybody's, you know, beaver hunting. <laughs> We're doing a little bit of what that in Nash Vegas. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, it means trying to get pussy. about pussies hunting in Oregon for. They were they were in Oregon, <laughs> pussy Oregon hunting. pussy hunting. So the British were pussy hunting. <laughs> the British and Americans were both pussy hunting on the same territory. And Polk was like, "Nah, we're done with that." And he said, "Alleged the the latitude and longitude was fifty four and 40. So he came out with the slogan, 54 and 40, or fight. He was saying that to the British. He was like, we're going to fuck catchy. you guys up. True. So he came out with that, and the British. People were really in- into they loved latitudes slogans. and longitudes They were. Then. So he called that, and the British were afraid to call his bluff. They were just like, fine, take They're it. Like, that slogan is so good. Yeah, like, <laughs> just <laughs> take it. Fuck, dude, this guy's too nuts. Dude, you came up with the fucking, you used the longitude and latitude? So he takes that territory, which is huge. And then it's not just Oregon, it's Washington and all that. You know how why Oregon is uh, Portland is called Portland? Mm. I bet you I do. It was kind. Of, do you? No, it's not. It was going to be Boston. What? Because there's two guys. Is it Lewis and Clark? That yeah. yeah, yeah. So one of them is that from, was Jefferson. One Give of them is from on Boston, and one of them is from Portland, Maine. And they both wanted to name it after their hometown. Oh. And they flipped a coin, huh. and named it Portland. And there is a Boston in Oregon. Mm. There's a town called Boston, Oregon. Anyway, mm. go on. So after he gets Oregon. Yeah. He's, he's like, all right, it's time for me to get Texas. Mm-hmm. He starts fucking with the Mexicans. Like, say so they would send troops down mm-hmm. just to see if the Mexicans would shoot first. Mm-hmm. Finally, they did. He fucking immediately lazy Mexicans. They, finally, they <laughs> shot so a bunch many of times <laughs> to he, get he, off their fucking frijoles and fire a shot. <laughs> So they they go to war. Here they come like, yeah, I don't want to fire. <laughs> I'm too <laughs> busy drinking like tequila. One of them was like, <laughs> 70,000 troops poured in. Oh, no. So that we immediately took California, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Texas. And this then who was the general four years. Who was the general that penetrated all the way to Mexico City? That, this is later, right? Uh, this was the next guy who was uh, Zachary Taylor. Yeah, yeah Zachary, Zachary Taylor was Zachary the big uh, Mexican-American war yeah, guy. Yeah, he was the war hero. What? 
Zachary Taylor was dominating. So but gathered- this is, he went into Mexico City, and, the, and if you go to in Mexico City, the big thing is Los Niños, these six, I think it's four, six kids. So they stormed, they went all the way to Mexico City, and the Citadel, the, the um, Chapultepec, the palace, uh, the army was so decimated that it was finally just the cadets of the military school were the only ones Yikes. defending the capital. And they were fi- they were just four kids firing on the American army is just coming. Fuck. And they finally, they wrapped themselves in Mexican flags and jumped and dove and killed themselves. That was how they ended That's the war. Awesome. And the moment is Zachary Taylor's holding one of them and he's saying they were just kids. Uh, like he had no idea. They were, ch- they were like fucking 12, 15 years oh, old. Man. And in, Me- in Chapultepec, there's four big pillars uh, that are still they're like hey, war heroes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. What did Mexico have back then? Like, a, was it like a king or like a lot of, they? Oh well, they had Max. So uh, the what was going on all these years? Um, Napoleon assumed that the South would win the Civil War eventually. That the South that there would be a, they the Europe always bet bet on the South because mm. the South was was a uh, aristocratic. Mm. America. It was about plantations and old families, and that's a European. They, and they loved Europe in the South. Yeah. The North was always against Europe and wanting to start something new. So during the Civil War, so Maximilian was just a Habsburg. But the way kings worked back then, there were some royalty factories. So the Habsburg family, who I think were like Flemish or whatever the yeah. fuck. They just were, had like somebody, a cousin of a king. They went, Maximilian and his wife, they're like, you guys take Mexico. You're, you're, so so yeah. Napoleon sent French troops to Mexico and in, installed Max, uh, Maximilian. But then the- Which is what Cinco de Mayo is. Yes. Uh. And then, so then the, the, the Mexicans finally uh, overran, because when we lost the Civil War, when, the, when we lost the Civil War, <laughs> 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 maybe- I don't know what made me say that. No, when the <laughs> when the South lost the Civil War, Napoleon was like, "All right, fuck this." Well, and wait, Napoleon just, was gone for this, or Civil whoever War. the French yes. pulled their yes. pulled their. Uh, well, there was like three Napoleons. Oh, oh true. Right. I think it was uh, a later Napoleon. Wow. Yes, pulled uh, support. Yeah, and Maximilian, um, uh, they beheaded him. Fuck. They fed peyote to his wife what? and sent her home. And there's some little village somewhere in like uh, the Netherlands where they tell you like she's going to come get you because she would run in the streets. She went insane. She would run the streets screaming. And they tell kids if you don't get to sleep because she comes out at night. If you don't go to sleep, she's going to come get you. That's how far that's how far in Mexico. I'm sorry to derail you. But so so Zachary. So you were still at Polk and then Taylor. But still. So one thing that was cool was when Polk was instigating this war with Mexico. You got to uh, cut that part where I say we lost. Yeah. No, you that's good. Cut that. I don't that's know good. what you made corrected me say it. That. Immediately. <laughs> this is pretty sick. So Polk was up there like, they're fucking with us. They, they shot at our troops. And I saw an old uh, one-term senator from Illinois at the time stood up and said, were we on their territory when we shot him? There was one guy that was opposed to the Mexican-American War, a guy by the name of Abraham Lincoln. Really? Abraham Lincoln, and People yes. were like, hey, shut up, pussy. <laughs> yeah, dude. We're trying to take Texas. Shut yeah. the fuck and he's up. He's like, oh, you guys, were we? And like, shh. Yeah. He was like, sorry. <laughs> See, I think this was wrong. Like, anyway, that's why Polk's kind of the man. He, he added one-third of the entire United States in a four-year term. Damn. Pretty good. Well, in territory. I know, but still. But still, it's like those big yeah, but you got Texas and California. And they were pretty just sitting probably half our population. Pretty good. And they're sitting I on the wish border. he hadn't added them, <laughs> especially Texas. The but troops again, are sitting there we like, Mexico sucks. <laughs> Mexico fucking yeah. sucks. Finally, one, got, <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, shit. Run, run, run. They're pissed. Yo, Mexico's gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, that was a smashing. We America destroyed Mexico. Yeah. It was mean. It was mean. Yeah, it was nice. um, then this is good. Polk, he was working his tail off. His tail. It's oh, these yeah. trying times. We were right saying now. what we were thankful for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't say which Holocaust. Well, wow. anyway. Sure, it could have been the Armenian. It could have been, which I, dear Lord above, <laughs> we are here in this tragic time to uh, come to you to offer consolation and solace to our, uh, our mentor and hero, Howie Mandel. <laughs> and if it would uh, bring you. Any kind of succor in your time, Howie, 
let it be known that your dog has gone on to feed a bunch of worms and beetles beneath the earth, and now their children are being provided for with the sustenance brought by your canine's body. In Christ our Lord, amen. <laughs> Did you think that was a good eulogy? Deal or no deal? True. <laughs> <laughs> no deal. No deal. No deal. <laughs> no deal. We're doing it again, Fuck Matt. You're doing it. I'm trying Ooh, to help I lost you. a fucking dog. I lost my fucking dog. I hope you find him. Hold on. Hold on. We have something. We we have something planned. Matt, here's a little segment we do on the show. Regardless of who the guest is, we do a bit of a talent show. True. Yes. This has nothing to do with America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. No, we, okay. just, we do every but week. Matt did want to show you something. True. No, man. What are you doing? He's having an attack. He wanted to dance with you to see what you wanted to dance. Well, Oh. <laughs> I thought you were having some kind of you were stricken with palsy. Would now would you say that, that that was talented? That's pretty good. I think it, it started with promise. True. You know, and then um you like the truth of the matter is it's not really about the dance. It's Listen not about that. the movement. You have to give me some background. Tell me a story. Oh, Tell yeah. me something sad about yourself. Oh, true. Tell me something that you and then with the story. Yeah. Then I will judge it. Yeah, well, my parents both died while they were dancing, so. <laughs> my parents were dancing. They used to always dance in front of us, like, at dinner time. they get up and dance, and then one time they just So go. now you're an orphan. Yeah. And you dance to, to connect peach. yourself yeah. Back to, my to your parents. dead parents. They died, for, yeah. They are ballroom dancing. Well, I got to tell you time. something. I connect because my dog died. <laughs> and what I do is when I see dogs on the street shitting that aren't mine, I'll pick up that shit to remind me of my dog. True. You dance to remind me of your, to remind yourself of your dead parents. Absolutely. And you know what I'm sensing? When I see you dance, it's not about the movements. They're not perfect. You're not in time, but it's about the heart. And I don't know that if people who are watching, wherever you're watching this, I don't know if they can feel it, but we feel it here in the room. <laughs> And That's you, pretty good. Ooh, you, you are. You, no, you're no, no, pro. No, I am. Yeah. You moved it. You moved <laughs> us. Spitting. You moved us. You did, and we feel it. And if it, I don't have the power to move you to whatever the next thing is from here. For sure. But if it was up to me, <laughs> and there was a golden buzzer here, oh, confetti, fireworks. Thank you. I have talents. You're going to sit and write a book? That's a little bit of a ham bone, as we call it out there in the circuit. In Calgary? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a story that goes with that? Yeah. So okay. they used to call me ham bone. <laughs> <laughs> and then I used to do that, and they'd give me food they scraps. Go, hey, bone. Yeah, hey, bone. Uh -huh. they'd say, "Play your body like a drum," and I would. I would tap it, and I would slap it. Red buzzer. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, fuck. no! I'm just sorry. It's not a. It's not a, a. And maybe other people might find it good. I think that you know, well, how about talent this? is subjective. And 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 uh, is it subjective or objective? Uh, it's whatever you want it to be. Man. You're the fucking writer. Go ahead. It's subjective. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I didn't connect with that. Okay. What if I was molested by a guy named Hambone <laughs> and he taught me how to do that? Golden buzzer. Okay. Golden buzzer. <laughs> all right. Perfect. Um, yeah. So what, what's do your you... podcast all about? What do you do? <laughs> um, we talk about the possibility of getting Shane Gillis on our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have other guests. How would you compare yourself to Shane Gillis? Mm -hmm. People compare we talk me all the about time. about um manifesting <laughs> manifesting like uh, if you have a goal and if you want something in life you just manifest it and it'll come true mm. and I, I, I if you we always open what is today's manifest manifestation shane gillis and papa in the same room <laughs> yeah. both of them alive too yeah yeah and uh, we just talk about the virtues of manifesting that's what nice. we do that's the podcast it's what's it called the Mandela howie mandel effect? does stuff oh no not the mandela effect that would have been, like, been good that would have been, been nice 
What, what, what is the name of the podcast? Howie Mandel Does Stuff. Okay. And it's with my daughter. Nice. No, I don't do stuff with my daughter. <laughs> yeah. That was my <laughs> follow-up. Pardon me? That was my follow-up question. Yes. Well, did I, I you stepped it. on you? Go no, ahead. no, no. You answered it perfectly. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. And uh, you guys are just doing stuff, like whatever. Pardon me? You guys just do like whatever, like just do stuff. Well, it's not as, it's not as smooth and well-planned as this. <laughs> <laughs> We it's practice. More, ours is more loosey goosey and <laughs> yeah. less, pro, you I, know, less produced. When it comes to the planning, I did fuck you pretty bad on that dance, and I do apologize. What the, that the should dance? have been you initiating that dance. Oh, it was fine. My it's bad right. on that. It's no big deal. You should see him sing too. Oh my God, Howie! <laughs> like a he's choir, but you can see him sing without hearing him. You technically could. <laughs> Definitely, that would be a good thing where you take a cappella to the next level. <laughs> you don't even so no, no, totally <laughs> silent. no music and no voice. Yeah, just say that'd be actually mind. really nice. Yeah, just yeah. a big opera just launching out. Pretty nice. Do you sing? I'm all right. I'm He's, an amateur. So the, I'm a, I'm a two nights I'm ago they town. had the holiday party at Rogan's Heard comedy club. It. Is that why you couldn't make it? There's Carrie. That was no. Yesterday I had uh, a bunch of bullshit. But there was karaoke. I'm going to use that. I'm going to use that. When you don't know when you want to make you an don't excuse. Have an excuse. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, I can't make eye. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Uh, bullshit came up. Yeah. <laughs> the excuse is the bullshit. Well, you can't keep using the dead dog thing. So now you have the new one. <laughs> I said, send him, text him. I said to you, text him the picture of the dead dog. He'll fall for that. And you go, oh, fuck. Yeah, he's an ape. <laughs> Who fucking cares? I don't care. But there was karaoke at the at the party and Matt. Matt got up there and I was. What was your karaoke song of choice? Unchained Melody. Oh, wow. Yeah, brought the house down, down, Howie. Brought the fucking house down. Yes. That was a golden buzzer. Isn't that a two part thing? No, it's not a duet. Oh, I, I mean, I it is the Righteous Ghost. Ghost. It's, Wasn't it's, that in Ghost, the movie Ghost? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Patrick Swayze. Yep. Yeah. There's a video someone posted oh. of him singing and then it was me. You know what would be funny? You could reenact that. Shane, you get your uh, <laughs> Patreon thing. Yeah. Put it between your legs like you're molding it. You get behind Ooh. him like you're showing him how to mold it. It's and the, sing the and oh, redo, and a redo the scene from Unchained Melody yes. but from uh, Ghost. Uh, Ghost. Mm. Wouldn't that be great? And he makes that little yeah. egg Patreon egg thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your balls. Pardon me. It does. <laughs> Oh, you're right. After you peel the house off, yeah. it's true. Discolored. Pardon Covered me. In runs. Discolored. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. We have our own thing going over here. You, you guys do. do. You literally yeah. have a podcast yeah. going. It's perfect. This is great. How is he doing featuring Sam? How long is each of your episodes? Is it, we can end it whenever, but usually like an hour. Yeah. Because it already seems like an hour. It, I bet it's been shockingly a, it's been not a lot of minutes, time. Sir. Yeah. We really? can also start from up top and just rip. We got all the weird energy out of the room. Yeah. Oh, so you want to start? I think this has been going great. It is good. We should you keep don't. going. Me and you were carrying the weight. Gay ham bone. <laughs> Wait, was it you? <laughs> <laughs> they never found him. Where did I put the scraps? Oh, man. Well, I, I didn't want to ask duck. you like personal questions. Go ahead. Like, you can I ask me dig. anything. I'm open. I was like, you know, I'm open. I'm I'm here to be. Played. When was like? When was the last time you cried? Um, Papa. yesterday when Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> no, it was Papa. <laughs> <clears throat> and right before that, it was when Shane said, nope, can't make it. Can't Why? Make it. Bullshit. Got a lot <laughs> <True>. of bullshit. <laughs> True. I think that's fair. <laughs> it is. What? I think it's fair. What is fair? Just going fucking excuse. It is mental you know? health. Is your mental health. My mental health. Yeah, yeah, yeah your mental health. Yeah, your mental oh, health now, is you're, the most important. now you're pandering. Uh, it was mental health. Yeah. Okay. Seeing that fucking picture of that dead dog. True. Sh Sent me into a spiral because I was thinking about my dog. Shaquille. His dog's dog. How lucky am I that right when you cancel a fucking <laughs> dog, dog is right beside me? <laughs> How lucky am I? Am I the luckiest guy in the world? I mean, what are the chances that I would be here in Austin <laughs> and a dog would die right beside me right when this guy cancels doing my podcast? <laughs> I've gone my whole life without finding a dead dog. Really? Yeah. Well, that's because you're not looking around. You're wondering whether your nuts are floating.